Hey guys, good morning, and it is so good to be with you today. It is a beautiful sky outside, and so I hope that you are able to see it. And the moon, oh my gracious, the moon this morning. When I woke up, I wake up pretty early in the morning, and the moon was almost full, and it was orange. I cannot tell you how neat of a color that it really was. So maybe tonight you can go out and uh, watch it rise. Or maybe if you are an early riser, you can see it. It was, it was one of the most gorgeous things I've ever seen. So I just wanted to share that with you. But I also wanted to share a new book with you today. And I seem to be on a duck kick here because I wanted to share with you giggle giggle quack now it also has a lot of the same characters that you and i have come to love it has the cows the chickens the pigs and of course duck now we do know that uh they live on a farm and farmer brown is the head of that farm so i don't know what's going to be happening today but it is sure to be funny because it is called giggle giggle quack and it is written by Bet uh, Doreen Cronin and pictures by Betsy Lewin they are the same two talented ladies who did click clack moo cows that type and uh, they also did a uh, splish splash one two three or one two three splish splash one two um but lots of good ones so here we go guys giggle giggle Ooh, let's look at that title page. What do you see happening there? Oh, what did Duck find? I cannot wait to see. Here we go. Farmer Brown was going on vacation. He left his brother Bob in charge of the animals. Now I want you to look at some of the differences between Farmer Brown and Bob. Farmer Brown looks like a farmer. Yeah, he's got the overalls, he's got the big hat, he lives on the farm. What does it look like Bob does? I see right here he has a briefcase, he's got like some, some nice pants on, a tie. Do you think that Bob works on a farm at all? No, I don't think so either. I wrote everything down for you. Just follow my instructions. Here, let me move the camera so that way y'all can see it. There we go. Just follow my instructions and everything will be fine. But keep an eye on Duck. He's trouble. Farmer Brown thought he heard giggles and snickers as he drove away, but he couldn't be sure. Bob gave Duck a good long stare and went inside. He read the first note. Tuesday night is pizza night, not the frozen kind. The hens prefer anchovies. Giggle, giggle, cluck. Now, look, oh, use your picture clues because look at the chickens. Where are they looking? They are looking at... Bob and look at duck what do you notice about duck <gasps> he has a pencil and a piece of paper under his wing what do you think that means do you think that duck <gasps> duck is writing pretend notes do the chickens really love pizza with anchovies I'm sure they do, but do you think that's the note that Farmer Brown left them? Mmm. 29 minutes later, there was hot pizza in the barn. <laughs> Bob checked on the animals before he went to bed. Everything was just fine because the cows and the pigs have their electric blankets.
Wednesday is bath day for the pigs. Wash them with my favorite bubble bath and dry them off with my good towels. Remember, they have sensitive skin. Giggle, giggle, oink. Oh, look at Duck. I see something very, very sneaky going on. Bob had all the pigs washed in no time. Oh, look at their little faces. I love that one. They're so happy. Farmer Brown called home on Wednesday night to check in. Did you feed the animals like I wrote in the note, he asked. Done, replied Bob, counting seven empty pizza boxes. Did you see my note about the pigs? All taken care of, Bob, said Bob proudly. Are you keeping a very close eye on Duck? Bob gave Duck a good long stare. Duck was too busy, busy sharpening his pencil to notice. Just keep him in the house, ordered Farmer Brown. He's a bad influence on the cows. Giggle, giggle, moo. Giggle, giggle, oink. Giggle, quack. Thursday night is movie night. It's the cow's turn to pick. Giggle, giggle, moo. <laughs> Bob was in the kitchen popping corn, just as the animals settled in to watch the sound of music. The phone rang. <gasps> Who do you think it is? Farmer Brown. The only thing Farmer Brown heard on the other end was giggle, giggle, quack, giggle, moo, giggle, oink. Uh oh. Duck! screamed Farmer Brown. Oh no. I think Duck got caught. It's for you, Bob. Poor Farmer Brown, he had to cut his vacation short. The end. Sweet loves, I would love to just read fun books like that to you because guess what? Reading is one of the best things on the planet. It can give you a smile on your face. It can have your heart be like beating quickly because you don't know what's going to happen. And especially the more you read, the better reader you are. And the better reader you are, the bigger books you can read. And that opens a whole new world to the different kinds that you can get your hands on. Now, sweet loves, I hope that you enjoyed this story. If you did, give it a thumbs up because that means that these stories can go out to other kiddos who may not have a book to read and especially good books like the ones with the duck. And so I appreciate you joining me this morning. I love you, sweet peas. And I look forward to reading another book with you soon. Bye, guys.